I don't have a big ad budget and I have no idea how to make sure that my page shows up organically on Google search so that people can actually find me. And I know that it's important because 90% of searches or more to find any business anywhere on the planet as of right now, almost 2018, are done through Google and Facebook. So if you're not ranking, you're in trouble. This is another episode of Ask NBC. I'm Josh, the Nomad Business Coach, and I've recently received the question, how do I rank on organic Google search? But this is such an epic question, we can't answer it in one episode. So in this episode, we're gonna talk about how do you get placement in the Google Places page, which is actually where you will probably show up first and as a brick and mortar business like a yoga studio where people are going to click on to see your reviews and to get navigation to your business. So you want to show up there. Check it out. So there are two major factors when we're trying to rank organically in terms of the Google Places placement. And there are other factors that play into this. So any of you like super savvy internet marketers out there understand that we're starting at the bottom. The two major things that I would recommend though that you have to have a process in place for is for an ongoing review grab. So you need to be asking your clients for reviews. For example, I've got a couple people I've been talking with recently who have upcoming anniversaries because they opened up in December. So they're gonna have an anniversary party. And the suggestion and plan that we put in place was that they're gonna roll around or have someone who has their phone rolling around and asking people for testimonials and then also asking people on their iPad to go online and give them a glowing review if they think that it's worth it. So always have some reviews coming in. Understand as well that reviews are very important, but they need to be coming in as a trickle over the longer term. So although it's good to get a bunch of reviews in one go, you wanna keep asking for reviews over time. So when you're doing something like your autoresponder sequence for someone who's on your introductory pass, right when they hit class number five and they're really excited about what's going on, or if someone tells you, hey, I'm really enjoying this, you guys are great, ask them for a review and get them to go on right there on their phone and click the five stars. So that can make a big difference for your ranking. But I have another video, if you check out the Ask NBC videos, that talks about reviews and why they matter and how people sort of view them. So you can go check that out. The number two thing though, is to make sure that there's a congruency across all of the places that things such as your address actually take place. So first off, if you don't have a Google Places page, you need to claim it and I'll show you how to do it right now. And secondly, all of the information in there needs to be correct and needs to be identical to anywhere else that, that information may appear. For example, if you were on a street, for example, 50th Street, and you write ST for the street, it needs to be the same in Google as it is on your website, as it is on your Facebook page, as it is in anywhere else that it shows up. If you write street S-T-R-E-E-T, -E -E make sure it's written that way everywhere so that it's easier for it to be identified by the search engines bots that are actually looking for it. But the other major factor is to understand that as a local brick and mortar business, you can outrank bigger companies based on your locale if you have enough geotagging for the locale. And that's the big tip that I'm gonna give you guys today. How to geotag things such as your photos to make sure that they're connected specifically to where your business is. That way if someone is within a proximity to your business, it pings onto that and is more likely to bump you up in the Google search. Here's how it works. All right, so the first thing that you need to make sure that you have happening is that you've actually claimed your Google page. If you don't know if you've done this, uh, you may not have, or someone may have done it for you, but it may be outdated, so it's a good idea to go and check it out. If you go to Google backslash business, then you'll be able to find it, and you sign in on the right-hand side. If you can't sign in, then you can click Start Now and actually build this out. So once you have signed into your page, it'll take you to on the side here where you can put in your information, photos, your website, different people connected to it, so on and so forth. And Google's done a lot of effort to make this easier to be usable. So I would definitely jump in there and start doing this. Now, the big one I wanna point out is the photos. So when you click onto the photos, you can see on the top here that you have overview photos such as a cover photo or a profile picture and your logo, but you can also put in interior photos, exterior photos, at work photos, team photos, things like this. I would highly recommend having a minimum of three photos in each category, and they should be pertinent to that specific category. It's not only that the photos are something people like to look at and is more likely to get click-throughs for you and make your 
sort of brand recognizability higher, it's also that the photos themselves are something that you can geotag. Now, what am I talking about? Every photo has a name, but if the name of the photo is geotagged to a specific location, the bots in Google actually find that identify, uh, excuse me, identification factor and use that information to weight it towards someone searching who's in that area. Now the easiest way for you to do this once you've taken your photos is to go to a website I like, it's called geotag.online. Now you will need to actually create a login for this, but it's free, it doesn't cost you anything. And then you'll go through the steps, click geotag, add the address of your business, choose files from your computer, that's where you'd actually upload your specific mm -hmm. photos pertinent to your business. And then you'll click proceed and it will upload the videos and then, or excuse me, upload the photos and then geotag the photos. You then have to re-download the photos again because they're gonna be saved as something new. Once that's done, you jump over in here, click wherever you want it to go, click on your add photos button and add the photo in. It's really that simple. But the result of this is that now you have a photo which is good for people to look at, but you also have a geotagged photo which is easy for Google to help identify you as the place that someone's looking for if they're close to you looking, especially on their phone, which we know 80% of people are probably going to be looking on their phone. That's it for today, I hope this helps. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, comment down below so I can help you out or reach out right away and post any of your questions that you may have about things you have to do or fix or want to learn about in your yoga business. This has been another episode of Ask NBC. See you again next time. Peace.